Hello students, good morning to all. Hope you are well and good. Now we are learning about time and today's period here we will see about daisy-bitty. It is often required to find the days between two dates. This may be to pay rent or to find out the duration of trees. So now today's period we are going to see about how to find out the days or how many days are between in given two days. Okay? So with the help of calendar we can find out how many days are between April 20th and May 10th. Okay? Here April 21 is there. So we are not going to include the days which are given. Okay? But because we are going to find out how many days are between these two days. Okay? So these two days this two days we are not going to include. So after 21, we have to count the number of days till 10 May. Okay? So after 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay. So how many days will be there? There will be 18 days in between April 21 and May 10. Okay. So with the help of calendar it is possible. But if there is no calendar with you, then how can you find out that we are going to see now? So first we will write days in April. Okay. First, whatever day T is given here, we have to find out the total number of days in that given month. So in April, how many days are there? There are 30 days. So from that total number of days, we have to minus the given date. So 30 minus 21. Okay. So 30 minus 21, it will be. 9. Okay. So after, after April, May is there. Yeah. So May, the date is given there. And so from the last date, we have to minus 1. Why we have to minus 1? Because we are not going to include the given date. So we have to minus 1. So then in May. Then we have to write the given date. Date is the same. From the given date, we have to minus 1. Okay? So 10 minus 1, it will be 9. And then we have to do this. Then we have to do sum. When we do the sum, 9 plus 9, it will be 18. 18 plus 8, carry 1. And that 1 will become down. So, how many days are there? 18 days are there. So, with the help of calendar, we have to find. We have find there will be 18 days between April 21 and May 10. And without calendar, also we can find days in April. Total days are there 30. From the 30, first we have to minus the given date. Okay. And whatever last Day is given here. From that day, we have to minus 1. Understood? So, the same way we are going to solve, practice 12.4. Then there you will understand very well. Okay? So, now we will see later practice 12.4. Number 1. Okay? March 19, 2011. March 19, 2011 and May 20, 2011. Okay? So March 19, 2011 and May 26, 2011. These two dates are given there. We have to find out how many days are between these two dates. Okay? See, I have written here 
the morning and the number of days. So in January there are 31 days are there, February 28, whenever it is leap year, that time 29 days are there, then March 31, April 30, May 31, June 30, July 31, August 31, then September 30, October 31, November 30, and December 31. So it will be helpful for us for the finding this day in between that given to date. Okay? So first it is there, March 19, 2011 and May 26, 2011. So the first date is given there. Yeah, so we write day in March. As we know, whatever first date is given there, in that name, how many total days are there, first we have to write. So in March, total 31 even days are there. So first we write the 30. From the 31, we have to find the given date. So that is 19. So 31 minus 19. Okay. 1 minus 9 is not possible, so we have to carry it. It will be 11. Or I will show you 31 minus 19. It is not possible to minus 9 from 4, so we have to carry it. So that is 2 and that will become 11. 11 minus 9, 2 and 2 minus 1, 1. Okay. So there are 12 days. Then, after March, it is given their name. But after March, directly name will come? No. After March, April is there. So we have to write day in April. So, so how many days are there in April? In April, there are 30 days. So, as it is, we have to write. And after April, May is there. But to me, date will be given there 20 days. So whatever date will be given there for the next month, we have to write that date, then we will minus 1 from that given date. So, date in May, it is given there 26. So the 26 we have to minus 1. So 26 minus 1, it will be 20. Fine. Now we have to do the term of this day. Okay? So 2 plus 5, it will be 7. And 1 plus 3, 4. And 4 plus 2, 6. So total how many days are there? 67 days. Okay. There are 67 days between March 19, 2011 and May 26, 2011. Okay? Write this in your notebook. Then number two, May 28, 2012, and August 10, 2012. Okay. If the February is inverse in given today, so then we have to find out that given year either leap year or not. As we have done, how to find out the given year as a leap year or not, the same process we have to do. Okay? But now here to make the August means February is not inverse. So then we have to find out. As you know, first we will write. Day in May. Total number of days in May we have to write. So total there are 31 days in May. Among that given date we have to 
between our telephone virtual machine and mobile telephone okay what we do and i the number 4 september 25 september 25 and december 25 okay so for the right day Okay. So total searching for how many days are there? Thirty. Thirty minus twenty five. Thirty minus twenty five. It will be five. Then after September, October. So days in October. How many days are there in October? Correct. Thirty. One. So there are thirty-one days in October. After October, you have to repeat. So day is number one. Number one, there are thirty days. Okay. Now after number one, December is there. So December last day to be given there that is twenty five. So that last day to be given there that is one. So day is December so twenty five minus one it will be twenty four then we will get seven five plus one six six plus four ten so we get B and B one okay one plus three four four plus three seven then plus two nine so there are ninety okay so there will be right There are ninety days between September twenty-five, September twenty-five, thousand fourteen. Non-zero. 
or it is not a zero. Means the given year is not leap year. Okay. So we will say how many days in February? Correct. So there will be twenty days in February. Okay. Only in leap year there are twenty nine days in February. So first we write days in February. Okay. So total we will take twenty eight days because it is not leap year. So from the twenty eight we will minus seven. So twenty eight minus seven is equal to twenty one. Okay. Then after February, March, so days in March. So to so how many days are there in March? Correct. There are thirty-one days in March. After March, April, in April there are thirty days. Okay. So there will be April. Okay. Now, the April May is given. So in May, day is given as twelve. Okay. So from that twelve, we have minus one. So day in May twelve minus one. Okay. So twelve minus one is going to be given. We will be given some of the given days. One plus one two. Two plus one, three. Then two plus three, five. Five plus three, eight. And eight plus one, nine. So we are going to be. Then we write. Then there are.
As you know, there are circular density mass free, right? As you know. Okay. Then say please this in a three. See in a three there are thirty days. Okay. We have to decide this. How many days are there in from in given month? Okay. So let me main. So this is main. So in main there are thirty days. There is a two. June day it is given there ten. So from the ten to the minus one. So ten is June. So it will be ten minus one. Ten minus one nine. Then we will do the sum. So three plus one four. Four plus one five. Then five plus nine fourteen. Fourteen is a four carry one. One plus one two, two plus three five, five plus three eight, and eight plus three eleven. Okay, there are one hundred and forty days. Yes. Yeah. So hence there are one hundred and forty days. Okay, understood. Right, in your notes. 